my gorgeous sparkly scrumptious juicy gemini welcome to your love tarot reading this is going to be for you in a person boo boo whatever that means to you situationship relationship bumble date marriage let's take a look at gemini sun moon rising and venus please show me angels what's going on for my darling sparkly gemini also gemini with these you versus them readings we're assuming some kind of a rift or separation and if you are new to the channel welcome to blue angel love tarot and if you are a returning blue angel thank you i appreciate you i love you i see you baby give me a kiss mm. gemini you know i love you so much you're my lucky star i'm scorpio sun and rising but i feel like i lead the gemini lifestyle you know i got a lot of gemini in my chart um but, but also my apologies uh for uh keeping you waiting on this uh we did not upload well i did not upload for you we did not meet each other last night because i got held up doing a magical things okay i was doing the magics and then it was a little bit too late and i just the energy was off so i didn't want to give you a bad reading so we're doing two Scissor you versus them. Check out the other one that will be uploaded tonight. A little bit later tonight, we're going to have um, the other one, which is going to be your general energy vibe check, basically the singles reading. So see what else is going on for you. Okay, boo boo. Um, and let's get into your reading now, baby. You got the, ooh, you got the Empress, okay? I mean, I'm not surprised because your person is like... Look, rift or separation, right? Oh, by the way, I'm sorry. I just need to say this. Gemini, also be aware there are scammers in the comments. If someone is offering you a reading, pretending to be me, it's not me. I will never solicit for a reading. If you want to get a reading with me, you need to contact me first. So I will never solicit you for a reading. I also don't do phone readings. So if someone's trying to give you a phone reading, it's not me, baby. Uh, it's a wannabe. Also, naughty scammer if you're watching this. Uh, the Empress. Okay, your person is not over you. You are their ideal. You are like, they look at the moon, the stars, they look at the phone, they whatever. They're trying to watch like the news and all they see is you, Big Bell. Okay. All they see is you. This is like silly, 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 silly little person wanted to get away from you. They can't. You are their karma. You got justice. And beneath justice, you have the wheel of fortune, Big Bell. You can't make this up. Like you, you are meant for some, look. Some people call it soulmate. Some people call it, you know, whatever you want to call it. This is this is meant to be. Doesn't mean you have to stay with this person if they're not right for you. But there is some kind of a soul connection. There is a, a faded meeting, something that was meant to be worked through. They see was that it's like they met their match on some level, especially if it's a new person, bimbo himbo from Tinder, anyone in between. Uh, you met on the Tuesday. This person feels that they feel that energy. They're like, ooh, I have met my match, and it doesn't always have to be pleasant. You know, falling in love can be weird. It can be scary. For uh, a lot of people are cut off from their feelings these days. These days, Gemini, they're not like you and me. So you know they don't know how to deal with that. You know, big, epic, deep love. You know, I'm feeling what I'm getting from this person is they met. You know, this is like Shakespeare love. It's like Greek tragedy love. It's not gonna be tragedy, don't worry. But it's like that kind of love. You know, it's like that kind of like epic you know Lutheran heights kind of love yeah oh look your person just wasn't mature they weren't matured for this love when they uh when this was happening okay we've got the page of wands someone who didn't know how to deal with you they didn't know how to handle you gemini okay um they you know they're not like me they're not like they're not sophisticated like i'm just kidding but you know what i mean they, they just weren't sophisticated uh, enough in love to know how to handle you uh this is someone who um Someone who didn't know how to be generous uh, in a connection because they've never been in love in that way. And also maybe they've, uh, you know, I feel like they've just been meeting a lot of low quality people, especially if it's a bimbo himbo. They've never seen anything like you before, <laughs> you know, like seriously. And they're like, never seen anything like this. What is this wondrous Gemini? Uh, and the seven of cups, this person like was just really confused. Like I can't, I didn't, it's not an excuse, but Bill, because I feel like this person was confusing to you as well. Uh, and the communication was bad and it was erratic and all kinds of things were going on. But whatever the behavior was, it was because this person is really confused. They're really cut off from their feelings. Let's see why. And they just didn't know how to handle you, with Bill. They didn't know how to handle themselves. You triggered them, you know. Uh, I don't do twin flame readings, but a tw twin flame reader would probably call it a twin flame thing. So I don't know if that helps anyone here to understand what's going on, but it's that kind of a thing. And it's not to say this person was a bad person. They were just like triggered. Um, yeah, it was like, yeah, a very, you know, 
Someone, someone here was slow to understand what this was all about. Uh, someone here doesn't know how to invest in love. Very career oriented, quite possibly as well, with the Knight of Pentacles. Someone who they had an unhappy childhood, like legit, like uh, you know, wh whoever their uh, you know uh, carer was, like foremost, like not foremost, like you know, primary carer was mommy, daddy, anyone in between. Their mommy didn't love them, like seriously, but Bill. Mommy didn't love me. You know, they had to beg for attention when they were a child and they closed themselves up, off to love. And then now here you are and you're like everywhere they go, you know, this person's like obsessed with you. They can't get away from you. Um, when they fall asleep, they see your face. They hear your name. They're trying to get away from it, but they can't. The Knight of Cups, you know, this is how they see you. They see you as like the personification of love in some ways, you know, this is... Um, the cup is love. Yeah, they see with someone who also understands love, Gemini. So the, you are coming across to them right now as someone who wasn't afraid of love. You offered your love to them and they didn't know what to do with it. Uh, so they kind of effed it up. They're hoping it's not over though. It doesn't look super over. It just looks confusing. They could have like ghosted you or left you on red because they didn't know how to deal with the situation. If it was a more established connection, but Bill, again, you know, it's someone who was like very confusing. It was like on paper, everything was fine and stable, but it was like very much no movement, not really going anywhere. There was no uh, direction that this connection was taking. Uh, you felt gaslighted by your by this person with the Seven of Pentacles and they didn't mean to gaslight you. They're just very confused themselves. Maybe you felt a lot of the time Gemini might be bit, like you had to beg them for attention. This person doesn't give attention to people. It's, it's a person who didn't compliment you. They didn't see you. They didn't shower you with gifts and Belgian chocolates like they should. They didn't do that, baby. They did not do that. They were just like very, you know, very much about themselves. Why? Because they're insecure and they don't, they don't know how to receive love. Therefore, they don't know how to give love, baby. With the three of pentacles and their intentions, this is someone who wants to work it out, Bibbel. They're hoping you can work it out. They're hoping also that you are okay with teaching them how to love. You need to teach them how to love you, how to handle you. And it's not, again, it's not your responsibility to do that. You know, if this person isn't ready, I'm, you know, the reason why I'm not like specifically necessarily focused on twin flame stuff is because I believe we have more than one soulmate. And sometimes soulmates just, they're not ready or they can't give us what, what we need in this specific, you know, on this journey, in this life, you know if you vibe with like past life narratives and it's it's okay to like admit that and just say you know this is not this isn't serving me right now um but i feel like this person is going to come in and give you what you want like they do want to learn they really want to learn they really want to fix this because and i don't even see it's like it's it's it, it's a non-argument right now for this person maybe you don't even feel it yet because this person really comes across as very emotionally like I almost want to say like, you know, it's, it's like dried up, you know, like it's like, oh my God, this person is like a dry well. Okay. And they, they had no love to give. And that, but, but now like their entire world is you, there's no fighting it, no running away from it. I don't care if they're running. They might be, I don't care if they're fighting against the feeling. I don't care whatever they're doing. They're just, they can't like, you're like God, like the presence of God, like, you know, like omnipresent, like that's how you are. I'm not saying you're a God, although you're my God, but they you know what I mean, like, not to be like blasphemous or anything. I don't want to offend anyone, but it's just like, you know, God is ever present. That's how you are with this person right now. Like, you know, you are nature, you are mother earth, like whatever father, anyone in between, like you're just everywhere. Uh, nine of cups, this person is coming in next uh, nine hours, nine days or nine weeks for reconciliation. They will give you what you want, but they need a helping hand. Uh, let's get a little, a uh, little bit of advice here for you, Gemini. Oh my gosh, Gemini, of course they're obsessed with you. I'm obsessed with you. You know what I mean? Yeah, King of Swords, someone very much emotionally, you know, cut off, someone very emotionally, you know, they're not, they're not good at the emotional stuff, baby. They're just not good at that. Yeah, judgment, see, resurrection. They, they want to learn. They want to fix what happened in the past. And their karma, um, the Wheel of Fortune, the Justice card here. There's just no getting away from you. You're just, there's no getting away from you, Gemini. I'm sorry. But let's see what the advice is here for you. Huh. Yeah, Seven of Wands. Fight for what you know is true. Fight for yourself. Self, but bail. So this is about uh, making demand. This is almost like a hostage situation right now, you know? When this person comes in, you need to put some demands on them, okay? You can't be too nice. Don't be evil, but don't be too nice. Just say, these are my needs, X, Y, Z, whatever. 
this and this and this. You do it or you don't, like in or out, you know? I will delete you from the database. <laughs> and the emperor, again, empress anyone between, divine counterpart energy here again. The emperor is saying you need to say to that person, look, this is how it's gonna be. I am the boss of my life. I am the boss of my heart. And this is how it's gonna be. And you can either adjust or you can, you know, leave, basically. Sink or swim. Uh, this is a bit of a tough love situation here. I do feel like it is a connection from a past life that you're dealing with. Again, only if you believe in past life narratives. And also, you know, you don't you don't owe people stuff, you know, necessarily from a past life. This what despite what some people might tell you. We it's okay, like it's it's fine. Even if you like stole stole someone's chickens like in a past life or whatever, never paid them for that, you know, um, bag of wheat you bought, like I don't know, back in fourteen ninety two. Doesn't mean you owe them something now, baby. Don't worry about that. Uh, but there is an uh, enduring and undying love here, and that the, this person will love you even if it doesn't work out between the two of you. This person will always love you, boo boo. Uh, just know that much. So you don't owe them anything. Give them your demand. See what happens, baby. Uh, this is what I have for you today, my boo boo. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Also, Gemini, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe? Turn on that notification button and of course like the video because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube and if you would like to get a genuine private reading with me uh, with the real me uh, information regarding this is in the description box below and the description box below only baby I'll see you next time my darling Gemini stay sparkly stay juicy stay moisturized and may the angels protect you